Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 34, a solar system. This is not our solar system, but it's a solar system. And because the sun or the star in a solar system is massively larger than the uh, planets, um, this will not be to any scale whatsoever. Starting new FLA here. I'm keeping the action script three just in case I might eventually write action script on this. And here's my new FLA. I'm going to call this uh, the star, S T A R, inner, I N, the inner part of a star. I'm going to have no stroke, no stroke. And fill is going to be yellowish color. There it is there. And I'm going to pick up my oval tool. There's the rectangle tool. If you're seeing an oval, okay. If not, click here on the corner, pick up this oval tool, hold your shift down, and make a circle. Go here, pick up selection tool, highlight it. And there's this thing called the color palette. If you don't have it here, go to window, find color be here somewhere color palette there it is there select radial gradient don't worry it just changes colors click on this pick up a yellow pick up this one it's white it's good it's okay if not double click on it and pick up white and if I look and see it's the opposite to what I want so open it again bring the white swatch up this way and bring the yellow one down this way and what it gives you it gives you a yellowy outside with a white inside uh, pick up selection tool highlight that open the alignment panel if you don't have the alignment panel here go to window you'll find it make sure this has a click in it line to stage click this one and this one and that will center that to the stage lock that layer insert a layer Call it star, S-T-A-R, outer, O-U-T, like the outside of the star. For this, we're going to use the stroke. So come over here for the fill. No fill. Click here. For my stroke, I want yellow again. And open the properties panel. And, nope. Just click on the pencil for a minute. Pencil tool. Open the properties panel. And you see this here, one make it a five okay come over here pick up this oval tool again and just make a oval or circle rather by holding the shift down highlight it and I can sort of center that right on there that's good now this I want to do some um, filtering with so we have to make this a symbol modify it Convert it to a symbol, make, make sure a movie clip is selected, and call the star S T A R outer O U T shift underscore M C. Now, while it's highlighted, I'm going to just unlock this one out for a minute. See that? So I'm just looking at this thing right here. Open the properties panel. It says frame. I don't want to see frame, so highlight it again. Open the properties panel. Down here, there's something called filter. Come down here. I want uh, blur first. And set the blur high. And you can see that it gets blurry. And then come down here, and I want glow. Set the glow high. Click this, make sure we got yellow. I don't want that red in there. And make these here you see these two chain links make sure they're locked and make this 20 each enter and there's the glow so if I uh, there's going to be my Sun my my center planet lock all the layers select the top layer insert a layer call it planet 1 P1 make sure there's no fill and pick up red for the stroke oval tool 
and make a oval, oops, put up the oval tool, and make an oval right here-ish. All right, highlight it, open that alignment panel. Again, make sure this is checked, center it, the stage. It's all fuzzy, get them cross here, right click, copy that. Lock that layer, insert a layer, call this P1 temp, P1 T-E-M-P. Make sure you have that first frame selected, right click, paste in place. So now there's two of them. So if I lock them all, turn these two off, you don't see it. If I turn that one on and off, it's there. If I turn this one on and off, it's there. Okay, make sure all the layers are locked, invisible. Select the P1 layer, come up here, highlight it. That's that P1 right there. I'm going to just make sure that's it. I have it. Yep, P1. And get that fuzzy, that fuzzy thing, right click, convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call it P1 underscore MC. Okay. Planet one. Get that blue around it. That means it's a it's a movie clip. Double click. Now we're inside that movie clip. Call this guide. G-U-I-D-E. Come over here and pick up your eraser tool right here. Come down here, this is the size of the eraser. We want a small one. Then come up here and just erase a little piece out of it. See that? Just erase a little piece out of it like that. Lock it, insert a layer, call this one P1, that's the planet itself. And I'm gonna use a blue planet. So pick up this, any color here. I'm gonna pick up blue, it doesn't really matter. I uh, want my oval tool again, holding my shift down, oops, oops, want my oval tool, make sure P1, I'm selecting this first frame, and make a planet. There it is. Now, I don't want that big, big stroke anymore. So, click on the selection tool, click the outside of this planet, and highlight that, open the properties panel, and bring this back to 1. right that looks better highlight it open that color palette again select the radial gradient and here I want blue and there's going to be my first planet so let's go up to about frame 90 ish click and drag down in one motion come off them go back on you get that fuzzy square right click insert a keyframe selecting this layer here the one that has the planet into it right click create a classic tween in here lock that layer for a minute select this layer called guide and push it up to the top double click on it and this menu opens up, click Guide, OK, and you'll see a little, uh, looks like a T-square. Click on P1, drag it to the right and up, and you'll see this little dotted line telling you that that's a guide. Now, click Frame 1 of the planet, unlock the planet layer, and move the planet so that the circle is right at the end there. Oh, yeah, right there. Go up to this last frame and put that on there. Open the properties panel. Oh, I don't want it to be on that graphic. Click off, click off to the side. Click this anywhere on this um, layer here. Open the properties panel. It says rotate auto. Click that, click that drop down menu and put clockwise. And let's control test movie test there's our first planet going around now 
that that's getting in our way. We don't want to see that. So if we go back to scene one, um, what we can do is, first of all, is that's what we're seeing, is if I take this and put it on top, this P1 on top, and test it again, it goes around the planets on top. But if you don't want to see that loop, double click on this temp layer. I'm locking all the layers. Double click on this temp layer and make it a guide. Only, we're not going to use it as a guide, but that'll make it disappear. So now when I test it, we won't see this, this line. Control, test movie, test. There it is there. Now, let's do, um, click off to the side here, anywhere, regular click. Open the properties panel. It should say document on, up here. Make the stage black, and it looks much better. Now this g ring here, this guide, while we're at it, select that frame, and I can see it's all fuzzy. Open the properties panel. I want to make sure I got that. Click that again. Open the properties panel, and I also want this stroke here to be one. So that way there, it's really nice and small. I'm going to do one more planet with you, and then I'll leave you to yourself. Select the top layer, insert layer, call it P2 temp, P2, T-E-M-P, temp. Um, I don't want to fill. I want a red stroke. I know I want that red stroke to be, pick up my oval tool, and I know I want that red stroke to be one, which it is now, and we're going to make another oval there it is if I pick up my selection tool and double click on it I can then use my arrow keys and put it where I want if I want it offset like that I can do that but I'm going to center mine again with the alignment tool center it center it make sure there's a check mark here I'm going to right click and copy that I'm going to lock that layer insert layer call it P2 and I'm going to right click here, paste it in place. And I'm just going to make sure that I have two of them. Turn that off, turn that off. That's the one. And that's the other. That's good. Make sure I got both of them. It's the P2 that I want to see. While it's highlighted, I want to go up to modify, convert to a symbol. Call it P2P as in P2 planet underscore MC click OK now if I double click on that somewhere I'm inside that new movie clip call this the guide G U I D E lock it go back to scene one for a minute and this temp layer right here let's double click on that and make this a guide okay and let's go back into our P2 movie clip. Click over here. P2 movie clip. There it is. Unlock this layer. Pick up the eraser tool. And put a hole in it. That's a bit too big. Control Z. There's the hole I want. That's better. Lock that. Insert a layer call this P2, P2, pick up my oval tool, just want something here other than, than that uh, radiant, just click here, make an old, uh, circle, hold your shift down, don't make it that big, pick up this color palette, I want radial gradient again, going to highlight it, open that, that color panel, uh, click here, radial gradient, lose what I want, I think, what was my first one, open the properties panel, my first one was blue, so I don't want blue again, I want red, so highlight it, open it up, 
click on this, double click on it, pick up red, and there's my nice planet. Click on it and just drag it down here for a minute. Come up to way up, way up this time. Let's go up to 140 each. Click them both, right click, insert keyframes. Take this guide layer, click on it, bring it up to the top. Double click on it, make it a guide. Okay. Come down here, click on here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Click anywhere on here, insert a, create a classic tween. There's frame one. We want that to be now right there. So let's click this P2 layer, drag it up to the right. See how it snaps in for us. It's really good when it does that. Let's make this about 200 and move it with your arrow keys till it's right on the end. There it is there. Go up to the last frame and using your arrow keys, get it up over here on this one. It usually likes to lock right in. That's an improvement over the previous um, flash. Click on here, open the properties panel, click the auto clockwise, and I believe test movie test. There's our planets going around our sun, so to speak. I hope you learned something from this short tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.